Hi guys, in this video I want to tell you about a brand new feature available in Wondershare for Mora 13.64 and that is the AI voice remover. Now what is this feature and why is it useful? Well let's say for example that you've got a video and you've got some background music as well as a voiceover and for whatever reason you decide you want to replace the background music, perhaps maybe for copyright reasons or you just don't like the track and you want to change it to a different one or maybe uh, for your voiceover you find the audio quality uh, wasn't as good as you're expe expecting and you just want to re-record and replace it. Now rather than making the entire video from scratch, you can simply use the AI voice remover feature to be able to strip out the music and the voice into two separate tracks and then replace them accordingly. Now how does this feature work and is it any good? Well we're going to find out in this video. Okay so I'm going to be showing you how to use the AI voice remover feature in Wondershare Filmora. So I've got this basic uh, empty project here and I've just dragged in some footage that I've got um, lying around from another project. And in this particular video clip, I've got some backgrounds and music and I've also got uh, some voiceover. So let me just play you just a very few seconds of what that video clip is about. And it's home to some of the most beautiful medieval villages in the country. Now, let's say, for example, that I want to um, take this original video clip and I want to split it out. So I've got the background music on one channel or one clip, uh, one track, shall I say, and the voice um, on a different track. So if I want to replace the background music with something else, or I want to re-record the voice uh, again. So let me show you how to do that. So just for the sake of this particular tutorial, I'm not going to replace the entire video clip. I'm just going to split the video track in just a few seconds just to demonstrate it then we um, simply right click on our video clip and then we go to ai voice vocal remover and uh, that's going to do its magic it's going to take just a few seconds and obviously if you've got like a much longer clip it's going to take much longer and that's why i've only chosen about three seconds here um, so that should now split the background track into um, two so we've got the background music on one track and we've also got the voiceover on a completely different track so I'm now going to mute the original track so that we don't get confused. I'm just going to play just the first few seconds again of these two tracks. The Cotswolds is an area of outstanding beauty in England. Now what we can do, of course, is I can just mute uh, one of the others. So let me just uh, mute the uh, music just for seconds and we should have the voice only. An area of outstanding beauty in England and it's home to some of them. Now, as you can see, the actual AI has done a pretty good job, I think, of re uh, removing the music from the original track and to leaving just the voice. And I think that's pretty amazing technology. Um, you know, it's not 100% it's not perfect. You can still hear a little bit of, of the music very slightly, um, I think, on the voice, but it's done a pretty good job. Now, uh, what we can do, of course, is we can then utilize the AI generated music, for example, we could, all, we could drop in um, some more music instead of the original background music. So let's say I wanted to uh, remove the original background music, which I've just done there, and then we can go to audio and then we can go to AI music. And in here, I've already generated some AI music before. So I'm just going to drag in uh, the music um, from the AI music drop that in some place here, uh, unmute it, and we should now have uh, our voiceover along with the new background music. Might have to obviously change the levels so uh, the background music doesn't, back, doesn't drain out by the voice. Swords is an area of outstanding beauty in England. And there we go, we now and have home some to completely some different most beautiful uh, background music medieval villages um, in the country. On top of underneath the actual voiceover. So as you can see, this feature is very, very useful and I can see it's been used in quite a few different instances. I'm certainly going to be using it myself. So if you're interested, again, on anything to do with Wondershare Filmora, then check out my playlist. I've got a whole load of videos I'm building up um, as I learn this application and, and get to use these features. And I'm also very interested in the AI features as well. So check out some videos here with some suggestions on what you can watch next. Other than that, guys, see you soon and take care. Okay guys, we hope you find that video useful and if you do, of course, there's a whole load of uh, Wondershare for more videos available on my playlist, so make sure you check that out. And also if you're interested in the more AI features in Wondershare for more, um, I'm going to post more videos right up here, so make sure you watch them next. Other than that guys, don't forget to hit that lovely good red subscribe button and of course, once as always, I shall see you soon on another video.